I find people really interesting. I find every person I've ever met had at least for an hour an interesting story to tell. And it's just a question of finding the right questions or tapping into that little hidden something that unlocks somebody. I'm quite addicted right now to other people's lives. And most of the people I work with, and I have worked with a lot of people over the last three, four years, have become very much part of my life. They have become friends. And they always want to come back, they always want to do more, which is really interesting because it suggests that there is this vacuum in most people's lives to, to express themselves to the fullest. I'm always aware that art can be very self-indulgent. And I think one of the reasons why so many people want to do this, subject themselves to my torture, is not just to play, but also to present themselves in a format that is unusual from their ordinary lives, to create a legacy of sorts. My relationship to the camera is a very different one from a lot of the people that I work with who seem to be younger than me. I think a lot of these kids grew up in the 90s with AIDS in the back of their mind. They thought about mortality, I think, a lot. And I think the times we live in, terrorist attacks, war, just makes you feel much more vulnerable, I think, than you would otherwise if you're 18. That combined with reality TV and the possibility of actually putting your life on film or imagining your life on film. It's ultimately up to them to express what they want to express and there is very little I need to do. All I need to do is facilitate that experience really and um, they do the rest. <laughs>